Today on the channel, from the Expanded Universe Collection, the Power of the Force Airspeeder. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our daily Star Wars unboxings and reviews in 2021 and possibly beyond. And today on the channel, from the Power of the Force line, we've got the Air Speeder from the Expanded Universe Collection. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. Well, the Airspeeder is a long gamer. It's sat at my local toy store for weeks. Actually, not weeks. Probably years at this point. I finally said, you know what? They have a 25% off sale. I'm going to pull that trigger. I'm going to pick up this old Airspeeder. And that's exactly what I did. And that brings us to the review today. So I do love these throwback old school uh, toy unboxings, especially vehicles. Sometimes they're hard to put together. Sometimes they're hard to understand. But these little vehicles, I always call them grandma vehicles. We haven't talked grandma vehicles in a long time. You guys know your grandma loves you. you she's watching you. She's taking you out. She's getting her prescription. She's going grocery shopping. But guess what else she's doing? Hey, little Kyle, you can get a toy. We'll get you something. Uh, you're coming along, doing all my errands with me and stuff. We'll pick you up something. Well, Grandma's not cheap. She's not picking you up just your regular carded Star Wars figure. That's what your parents do. Your parents will pick you up those kind of things because they buy you a lot more stuff. They see you every day, so they get you the little stuff. But Grandma, she wants to make it special. But Grandmas also have, they live by a code. They live by a rules, Grandmas. They say, you know, the Millennium Falcons of the world, uh, the Ewok Villages of the world... Those are saved for your birthday and Christmas. But you know what? I'm not going to buy you that little carded figure. I'm going to get you the grandma vehicle. And that's what these are called. Grandma vehicles. About the next price point up. Uh, it comes with a figure, a little deluxe action here. But it's not going to break grandma's bank. Because she's on a fixed income. She's retired. She's got to mind her P's and her Q's. But she's not going to cheap out and get you something. But she's not going to go all the way out and get you the Falcon. This is the perfect thing for Grandma to get you. That's the air speeder. And then when you're driving home, uh, this is what you're opening up in the back seat. You're putting this thing together. You're playing with it. At least that's how my memory was when I was a little kid. Get my G.I. Joe, Star Wars, Transformers, oh, you name it. Everything under the sun. Uh, happy times, glorious times. I'm sure that story resonates with a lot of you guys out there as well. So we're going to do it like we normally do. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. And we'll see where it goes from there. These always go off the rails some way. We'll see what breaks. We'll see what gets us frustrated. We'll see all the answers here shortly. But there it is. The grandma vehicle in full effect. Airspeeder down here. You got the Rebel Insignia. You got the Star Wars Expanded Collection up top. Darth Vader. The familiar green and yellow. Oakland A's were all the rage in the 80s and 90s. Still are, if you ask me. And that's why they did this packaging. They said, you know, we got to pay tribute to the A's, especially the glory days of Reggie Jackson, uh, the late 70s, Raleigh Fingers, Vita Blue. I mean, we could go on all day. And then, of course, the great 80s team of Walt Weiss, Carney Lansford, Jose Canseco, Mark McGuire, Terry Steinbach, Dave Stewart, Bob I, I, mean, I could go on all day. I could go on all day about the 80s A's. Uh, but very cool, that's what it always reminds me of. We do got a figure in here. These figures are always a little cheaper, not the greatest figures, but it's it's cool to get a figure with your plane. Got the Air Speeder here, which is a little vehicle. Uh, almost looks like a miniature version of the Snow Speeder, so there's some similarities I see there. And this is made on some concept art, is what they say. Uh, got a little glamour shot up top there with the Air Speeder logo. Nothing too fun. Same thing pretty much on the side. Same thing on this side. Same thing on the bottom. The back, that's where the magic is. We got a little blurb, we'll read that. We got the little fan art, or the little concept art, I should call it, down on the bottom there. Uh, to the far corner, you got UPCs. A little bit of uh, promotional for some other vehicles. I'll always be promoting, I always say that. Uh, then you got a nice glamour shot up top. So very cool packaging. Exclusive Airspeeder Pilot. You can only get him in here because nobody would buy him on a single card by himself. We all know that. Comes with a firing proton torpedo. So we'll see if I can shoot the camera once we get this opened. Open cockpit and pilot takes the controls. Assault wings deploy during attack mode. The modified Incom T-47 airspeeder prototype. Rebel Alliance holds one pilot, twin laser cannons. A lot going on here. A lot going on. A series of publications called The Art of Star Wars unveiled how a group of artists whose talent for intricacies revealed a faraway galaxy that continues to capture the imagination of Star Wars fans everywhere. 
Several versions of the Incom T47 Airspeeder, also known as the Snow Speeder, well, there you go. I said it does remind me of that. Were created before deciding on the definite model seen in the Empire Strikes Back. This vehicle was designed and built based on several production sketch sketches by artist Ralph McQuarrie. So there you go. We all know Ralph McQuarrie. They even had a line of figures based on his concept, and I, I passed on all those. I didn't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. So I passed. You can't get it all. You can't get it all. It's not Pokemon. Whoa, we're losing stuff. I'm going to keep this right here just in case. Just in case. We're, we'll see you later. Later. See you later, later. Yeah, you heard me. Later, Gator. See you later. Oh, we got stickers in here. The bane of every child's existence were the stickers. I don't know about you guys. I absolutely hated it. I'd always get to the stickers and I'd say, uh, Dad, you want to do this? Because I never trusted myself with the stickers. I'd put them on crooked or something like that. And it's much easier to say, Dad, you put that on wrong instead of looking yourself in the mirror and know you did a terrible job. Maybe that was just me. I don't know. Come on, stickers. Get out of here. See you later. Plastic. We don't need you. Oh, we got one of those Kenner books. You guys remember these books. We've shown them a few times on the channel. Absolutely love these things. Uh, it's kind of a Kenner promotional guide. And these are the great things I used to give to grandpas and grandmas. And I'd say, you know, circle everything I wanted in here. Got all the Batman figures. I mean, I'm not going to go through all this, but all the stuff we love. Starting lineup, Nerf, Star Wars. Oh, yeah, there it is. Little starting lineups. But just really cool stuff that, you know, you knew you'd say, hey, this is what I want. You know, mom, grandma, grandpa, somebody. Too much Nerf and too much uh, cars in here for me, though. See you later. You guys know me. I'm an action figure kid. I didn't need any of those Nerf guns. I didn't need any of those Hot Wheels and Matchbox stuff or Tonka trucks. It was all action figures for me from day one. I wasn't one of those kids. As we talked about that on the channel before, is you know so there was always groups of kids. There was not a lot that crossed over. There was you're playing with your Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Tonka, car kids over here. And then you had your action figure kids, and you knew I was on that action figure side. And you didn't get a lot of crossover. And if you did get crossover, you always wonder what's this kid doing. He's got. He, he was like my sister. My sister had no rhyme and reason for what she collected. She'd buy a different thing all the time. And I was like, what, what do you, you got to stick to something? You got to have your, you got your Star Wars, you got your G.I. Joe, you got your Transformers. You can't just juggle all over the place and jump around. And those kids that, you know, boys that we'd hang around with at school, one day they'd get some Matchbox, the next day they'd get a Star Wars, and they'd inter splice it all together. I, I never understood it. I, I, I still don't understand that. All right, hopefully I can put this airspeeder together. I'll put the stickers on later. That's a job for off-camera. Nobody cares about that kind of stuff. I don't know. This could this could uh, pose a challenge. You, you never know with these things. They're always strapped in, taped in, locked in, fussed in. I can't even get the tape out. Are you kidding me? What are we doing here? What are we doing? Get this stuff out. My goodness. We're going to take this off-camera. There's no way around it. So much locked in. See you later. Whoa! Holy cow! It's it's getting it's off the rails now. The camera's all crooked. I'm gonna have to fix all this. Uh, but there's the airspeeder pilot in the cardboard prison, the rare cardboard prison. You never know when you'll get a cardboard prison. There it is. We got all kinds of pieces here. We got instructions. I'm gonna unbox all this stuff, put it together, and we'll uh, pick up once we're together. All right, we're back in business, and guess what? I even went ahead and I put the stickers on it, so I got to do it sometime. Might as well do it for this portion. So I got it unboxed, got all the baggies ripped up, taken apart, put it together. Always interesting. These old school 90s instructions, they're not in color. You're looking at it, you're like, wait, this fits here, and I was getting my wings backed up, mixed around, and you guys know how it goes. You've put stuff together before. But a very cool vehicle here. Like I said, very snow speeder inspired. That's what I thought when I saw this. And then reading the back, finding out, hey, this was the original concept for the snow speeder. It was going to be much smaller. I really like this one. I mean, that's what it looks like. It looks like the snow speeder. Maybe a little tanner, not quite as white. But very cool for a mini vehicle. Very awesome sized. Uh, I like this a lot. I like this a lot more than I thought. I would not be opposed, especially if I could get it for 10 bucks each. I think I got this for like 15 But if I can get it for 10 I would not be opposed to having two or three of these. Because I think smoke and mirrors, you can blend these in. And everybody would say, hey, this looks like a, a Star Wars vehicle, not some concept vehicle. This looks like something that we'd actually see out there. But I think it's very cool. You have a button on the back. Let's see if it pops open. Yep, or just like that. You hit the button. Wings pop up. Almost very, uh, what's that Back to the Future? The DeLorean. Yeah, the DeLorean car is what it reminds me of. You know, the wings pop up for the doors there. But that's cool. I guess you can go a little faster. You're, whoo, there you go. Bam, right off screen. Flying around. We do got a weapon here. Let's see, can I hit the screen? Oh, missed, but it does shoot still. So you got a little torpedo down there below. You got some thrusters down below. 
just a very cool little vehicle. These are exciting little vehicles. Uh, I like it a lot. The cockpit does open up, so you can put your character inside there. We'll talk about him in a second. You got two guns on the front, really cool decoration. The stickers really bring it out, too. They bring a little character uh, to the vehicle. I know there's some kids out there I knew that used to throw the stickers away and said, ah, I don't need stickers on my vehicles or figures or anything. I always thought that was just crazy. Absolutely madness by some of these kids. There's some animals out there. There's some kids that are absolute animals in the action figure game. Uh, but the bottom of it, but a very cool, it's basically a mini snow speeder, which I never realized till now. So I'm very excited as I love a snow speeder. It's one of the glaring holes in my Star Wars 3 and 3 Force collection. I have not got a snow speeder yet. I will though. I will. The day will come. I'll have a snow speeder. Uh, but then you get the air speeder pilot here, just a generic guy. I wonder who it was based off of. Uh, you am sure it was based off of a, a designer or somebody, this air speeder pilot, all dressed in a white flight suit. Uh, his, he does have goggles up on top of him, but he, uh, you can see his face, and the paint applications are amazing for Power of the Force here. I mean, this almost looks like a Star Wars Black Series figure. That's how good the paint apps are on the face here, the detail. Uh, very cool for an unnamed airspeeder pilot, I guess a guy that never existed. You could take some liberties of what you want him to look like. Uh, Power of the Force, though, figure, so you get your legs articulated, you get your waist, you get your head, and you get your arms, and that's all you're going to get. Very plain Jane, but what do you expect? It, it's just an air, it's a concept speeder pilot. You could obviously put somebody else in here if you really wanted to. Uh, but he'll be flying this thing. He'll be flying it to his death in my battles in my basement that I'll have once I get my future Star Wars display up and running the way I need it to go. But, guys, I recommend this one all day long. I never had this. always passed on it. I always said Expanded Universe. It doesn't really count. I don't need it. But now that I have this all these years later, now that I got it on box, I'm taking a look at it. Had to have this. I should have got this sooner. I like this little grandma vehicle. Packaging's cool. The figure's cool. Everything is cool about this. You can't go wrong with this. So, strongly recommended A plus from old Kyle. But what say you? Did you ever own this? Did you ever have this? Did you know this existed? All the fun questions we always ask. Leave me a comment down below your thoughts on this air speeder from the Expanded Universe. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As you guys know, we got Star Wars videos every single day. And we're going through a lot of these Power of the Force ones. We'll probably have a Phantom Menace month. I have all the Phantom Menace f figures, all the Saga collection. I mean... We could probably do a daily Star Wars video for maybe about three years at this point. Uh, but we'll see where we go. We're going to get a year under our belt. And we'll see what happens from there. Uh, so make sure you hit the notification bell. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you're following me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. So for the Star Wars Power of the Force Expanded Universe Airspeeder, I'm Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.